hello welcome back so today we're going to talk about uh, the God series how to get off of sugar so there's a lot of ways out there and I want to go through a few things with you about gut health health in general I was like oh my gosh I, I'm, I'm never gonna get this done but anyways I saw a, a YouTube video and the guy was very he's called uh, the biohacking father and what was interesting he says you can go your whole life uh, discovering things and trying things and you're never gonna be done so keep that in mind there's a lot to get done but as long as you're walking towards feeling better and a little bit better and a little bit better that's all that counts you you don't have to stop everything and start everything at the same time because being healthy is a journey not like a destination and unfortunately there's so many theories out there. You don't know what's right for you. We all behave differently. So the only way for you to know what's gonna work for you is try it out. And uh, for me, and, and that's why I'm sharing this particular one of how to get off of sugar, I tried about five, six different methods and this is what works for me. But the point of this video doesn't apply only to giving up sugar. So let's say you're gonna give up bread, you're gonna give, whatever it is, there's no one way to skin a chicken. I think that's the expression, something like that. Anyways, there's, there's different ways to approach a situation. So I want you to bear that. <clears throat> so for example, sugar for me is my weakness. Always has been. What happened is that you have bugs or bacteria microbiome in your body. And if you've been eating in a certain way, your bacteria will be hungry, they will crave, and they will drive your food choices. So it is an uphill battle, okay? It's not about manpower. You are fighting literally the monster within you, right? Because you have to create new bacteria and you have to create a new environment for you to feel comfortable in these new things that you're gonna do for your health, okay? Especially if we're trying to get uh, healthier in our gut and in general. Even if you don't have gut issues, being uh, on a healthy diet is, is just gonna add some points in your energy scale. Getting off of sh processed sugar, in my case, I'm mostly all sugar. I don't do, uh, except like stevia maybe, but I don't do even natural sugars just because I do better ketogenically kind of. So that is a personal choice. Now, for me, getting off of sugar and bread, but we'll discuss bread separately, has been the harder things, okay? And the only reason, let me tell you, is because I'm a hot chocolate person. I have, to, like everybody's, coffee coffee in the morning I'm hot chocolate in the morning since I remember since I was a child so 40 years later trying to change 42 41 I never know how old I am trying to change your habits and saying okay I'm going to um, now cut my hot chocolate especially when I'm close to my period it's really hard for me I tried cold turkey okay and that did not work for me and i have gotten on and off uh, sugar now easily is the following so for me i forget about like i have to enter in ketosis i don't think about that my first objective if i'm eating wrong to go back to eating better is okay i have to cut sugars and processed and and flours right but cold turkey for me doesn't work so what i do is that I do a transition phase and that works for me perfectly, okay? So the first day, let's say that yesterday I had a hot chocolate. Today I say, okay, I wake up. What I will do is that I will allow myself, let's say a coffee with um, a lot of stevia and I don't pay attention to, oh my God, the stevia and how much, no. Because right now my objective is getting off of the sugar, okay? So let's say that I have breakfast and I crave sugar again, then I'll eat more berries than normal. So I will do uh, maybe half a cup of blueberry. And if I'm gonna go crazy, I'll eat a whole cup of blueberries. And yes, I know that's sugar, but bear with me, it works for me. So at lunch, I eat lunch, I have sugar craving. I do, let's say, or a snack, I get a craving. I have dessert, I have peaches and cream. And my peaches are cooked with stevia, okay? So I only get the sugar of the peaches. And 
I go ahead and do that. And then if in dinner I wanna have, again, peaches with cream, I'll do. <laughs> they have a lot of fat because of the whipping cream and I'll insert a video. These are my peaches and cream. They have just cooked in stevia, whipping cream and almonds. Um, so they will be, you know, very filling and, and very good. So that's what I'll do. And I'll do that until the craving for the real sugar goes away and then I start restricting and that works for me. I have tried go cold, cold turkey and then start with only little berries in the day and that drives me insane, does not work for me. So anyways, I just want you to think that there's different approaches and you might fail the one doesn't, doesn't matter, it's improvement, right? So let's say that you're like, oh my gosh, I, um, um, I I have a coffee with sugar in the morning and I made it till 10 o'clock. Guess what? You made it two more hours. It's progress. So just stick with it. And I promise you that they eventually all this little more energy, they add up. You feel better. It's just so much, much going in the right direction for Tower's health and towards recovery anyways i hope this was helpful and i've been doing a lot of a lot of research on god and there's so many theories out there um i could go on on this series forever because a uh, keto's good keto's bad protein's good low protein's bad high protein's good high protein you know there's everything out there high fat is bad high low fat is bad so it, there's not a right or wrong with the gut, but there's some general concepts that are accepted out there. So no matter the diet and no matter the thinking, there's certain things that everybody agree on. And we're gonna cover those in the next video. Also, I found an interesting video on natural foods that are healing to the gut and that you should incorporate. And I love the video. So I wanna cover that with you guys. So thank you so much for watching. And if you haven't, please subscribe and rest well.